Looks like these things already regrew before I had the chance to actually find more. So, we will go into resources, food, plant, another carrot. That'll work. This is all sorts of awkwardly arranged. And we have a gourd. Damn it. Build that there. We have melons. I leveled up for planting. That's awesome. There. Wherever I can fit it. And there. Cool. So that's plenty of food for them. Good. Yeah, I wasn't able to find any. I, I sort of went around a little bit and followed the river a bit and didn't find anything. Aside from mutt fruit, but... Or mute fruit, apparently. But the mute fruit that I found um, doesn't count because it's raw mute fruit, whereas this just says... Mute fruit required, so I wasn't able to plant it anywhere, which is honestly a bit silly, but oh well. We got it in the end. So talk to... exit. Talk to what's-his-butt, where's he at? You! Place is starting to feel like home. Now that we can grow our own food, I think we can really make a go with this. Trouble is, the more we establish ourselves here, the more of a target we become. What we need is to get some defenses set up. Then maybe Preston will be able to relax a little bit. What sort of defenses did you have in mind? Walls, sandbags, turrets, whatever you can put together. Turrets? Okay, defenses I never actually looked at. So, let's see what we can do for that. That'll be here, defense. Guard posts, turrets, traps. What do we got for turrets? Oh my god, I can actually make one. Most of them require gun nut. Hmm. That's defenses and something that requires power, so that'll shut that up. Missile turret. Holy shit. Um. The spotlight gives us defense. Uh. I guess we'll just put it here, so if they're coming up the road, we can kind of sort of see them, I guess. Bang. Now run a wire from the generator to the object that needs power. Okay. Okay, so it would need to attach wire. Okay, I actually need to connect it to something. So that'll be what the conduits are for, I presume. So cancel. So connectors and switches. So, oh, power pylon. That also would probably... Ooh, or large. Okay, so I assume this is just, um... So build it. Build it. A lot of copper now. Attach wire. Yep, got it. Oh, I like the copper for another wire. Balls. Ah, there we go, the lamp. Which I could probably just actually use. But, um, scrap it. Yeah, no, that ain't, ain't gonna have that. Pain in the ass, man. Yeah, too long. That's wire. And I don't have the fucking... Ah, fine. You know what? You, you're moving. You live here now. There, and the wire that I was using for that goes to that now. There. God. There's some defense. Fucking spotlight. Wow, it's so good. Need to figure out copper. Okay, so defenses though. We'll just build a couple walls then, I guess. Um. Shit. Some guard posts. Guard tower. Some steel and wood.
There we go. Not bad, not bad. See, I'm pretty sure if anybody were to attack us, it'd be from this direction. There you go. Custom tower. Ah, oh, yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. And then I assume I have to assign people to it, so... You. You're working that. Wow, she was working like all the food. So, June, you need to be working the farms. There we go. Uh, and your searches, you are working on. Yep, that. Fine. You can't be assigned. We have the defense at least now. So if we get more people, we can pop one up there. <laughs> I feel like that searchlight's not really in a good spot. Does it matter? I really think it might. Oh, well, I don't have the copper. We just have to duck under this all the time, getting around. That's good. All right. Sturgis, thanks for doing that. We'll all sleep better at night knowing we have some defenses set up. It's been a long road. But yeah, I think this is it. Home. Feels good. Yeah. I was glad to help. Well, I appreciate it. Of course, you know you're welcome anytime. My door's always open to you. Windows, too. Some of the walls actually come to think of it. I guess I better get back to it. Take care now. Nice. Fresh water. Should I have put like a bucket under there or something? No. Anyway, I'm pretty sure we leveled at some point during all of that. So, chance to disarm my opponent would be pretty awesome. However, there is also... Oh, it requires level 16. Fucking hell. Yeah, well, that makes sense, though. Um, I want all of it. All right, let's go armor. Get that out of the way. There. So then if I go to the armor station, which is here, yes. God, um. Damn, okay, so I need more adhesive. Like a lot more. So I'll keep that in mind. Can't really do much without that. Well, nothing worthwhile. I could just give it like a really basic upgrade, but I may as well just, you know, save the materials and go for the big end later on. Quite happy with the location of this, actually. It seems, seems pretty good. It's just we're so exposed from behind, but that's like north and east and bleh. I figure anybody coming in would be coming in from the road, right? I don't know. Maybe not. Uh, was there much to loot at the vault? I don't know, that's still there. Could be worth going back to one day, but for now, I guess we'll head off and do... Wait, what? Holy shit. Okay, Diamond City is way down there. So it'll be a bit on that one. That's like the main quest line, I think. 
So target the settlers at 10 Pines Bluff, and that is for the right. As we travel to a nearby settlement, that was requested help from the Minutemen. I should go there as soon as possible and see what I can do to help them. Right. Okay. And this one was... As soon as it stops playing, it's... Oh, see to show summary. Diamond City is the largest settlement at the Commonwealth. It's the best place to begin the series for Sean. Yep. Okay. So, we'll do the first step then. I figure before heading out, we may as well just sleep, wait for the nice early morning, so I don't have to battle the darkness all the time. Though I could see how that's kind of, um... Appreciated if you're a stealth character. Because, you know, obviously darkness and stealth and lighting actually matters and stuff like that. Which is cool. But my character is so goddamn awful at stealth that it's not raining. Yes, yes. Raining, raining, raining radiation. My character is so goddamn bad at stealth, it doesn't quite matter. And I think. I don't know if there's a chemistry set here. I know there's one at the other place. I'll check that out and see if I can maybe make some. Um, some jet for her. Maybe even some super jet. <laughs> She'd probably go nuts though with it and like overdose or something and the Preston would hate me. Try to kick me out of sanctuary, but this is where I lived like 200 years ago. I don't know. I wonder if that's a thing, giving her super jet. I'm sure it is. Come on, dog. I was also told the dog doesn't actually die. It can, um, when it's down and whimpering, it sort of regenerates its health, or you pop a stim pack for it, and it sort of gets into the battle quicker. But, uh, it never dies. I don't know about other companions, but dog meat, at least, I know, does not die, so that's okay. I'll bring him along then. Or her. And... transfer? Anything here? Hmm, everything. Okay, so it looks like it did finally sync up. It said workshop share, um... Inventory. But previously it never wanted to. Okay, so I don't know if there's anything in there previously or not. I don't remember if I looked or not. And I'm looking for drugs, jet, jet, plastic, which I got a lot of, and fertilizer, which I have none of. And interestingly enough, instead of just giving you AP, it actually slows time in this game, which is really cool. Sort of a faster reactions type thing. <gasps> Buff jet. Oh my god, I'm going to be a buff jet fiend. Mm. I make psycho buff right now. For eight minutes. Ugh. Some good shit. All right. Can I... Oh, Molotov. Cloth glass oil. I don't think I can actually make much of anything. And if I can... I don't really think I should. Because my resources are, like, so low, you know? So we'll just leave that. And it does look like the workshop share inventory now, finally. So, I don't know exactly what I have to do. Maybe, oops. Damn it. Maybe I just, um, I had to wait a bit and it would. I don't know. Looks like it did though. Unless this is actually separate, like this is this zones. I don't know. Um, giddy up buttercup. I won't have that at base. So let's head back and find out. Yeah, no, that definitely did not transfer. That's just, I have a lot of stuff over there. Weird. Okay, so I was told there is a way to sync them up uh, across sort of zones. But I don't know how to do that yet. Yeah? Yes. So I think next time I go to build here, um, probably after. Man, yeah, I will. God, let me fucking do the commentary thing. After I head over to Ten Pines Bluff, we can get rid of that waypoint, I think. N no, no, the, the marker that's already there. I wanna... Oh, I can just click off it, okay. The, 
uh, after I do the ten time the after I do the ten pines bluff thing, I'll head back to a bit of building and I'll just be sure to manually haul all that stuff over to here. Hmm. Medical liquid nitrogen dispenser. The fuck is that? Some sort of junk? Doesn't sound like junk. Yeah, it's junk. For some steel. Okay, just feel like I could use it as, you know, a liquid nitrogen dispenser. Huh, that's own. I'm always glad to see the sun come up one more time. Things are tough now, but they'll get better. You know, how far out can I build the walls? Jesus, really far out. There's a zone down there. Might actually be worth building a barricade on the bridge. Exactly how far out can I go? Oh man, like right up to the top of the bridge. Aw, oh, dude, I gotta put something up over here. I got plenty of wood and steel for it. Here we are. Not the most perfect, perfect ever amazing spot, but uh, decent enough. I mean, it gives you plenty of visibility. It's on the bridge, too, so this is like totes a forward outpost type thing. It's just assigning somebody to it, which... Uh, I'll probably do later. I don't really have many people to assign to things right now. I could assign Mama Murphy to it. <clears throat> With as much fucking jet as she's on, she might actually make me a pretty decent, uh, defender. Time's just like perma slow for her. Ooh, pretty flower. Hub flower. So it looks like a lot of these buildings I can't actually go into. Not that one, not that one. This one I might be able to. We'll do a little bit of looting while I'm here. Mostly looking for copper and apparently ceramic. Hmm, Nuka-Cola Quantum. Anything takeable as far as copper goes, because this is definitely outside my build zone, so it's have to be, ugh, it'd have to be something I can actually pick up and move. Like this lamp. Can't actually pick up the lamp. Man. No way I could pick this. Welding goggles and a bandana. Nice train, a bobby pin. Med extra buff out, good stuff. I don't know if there's anything in the attic or not. So what's that red bandana and the other thing all about? Looks like one of the mouth covering things. We'll do that, I didn't take off anything. Doesn't do anything either. And welding goggles, perception. Nice. So it takes off the black room glasses, but hey, it gives me perception. I'm yeah, definitely looking a bit, um, sort of Bioshock a little bit. Whew. I don't know. Personally, I'm not a huge, huge fan of it. I'll no doubt definitely be checking this place out in greater detail, as well as Sanctuary, too. Uh, so keep an eye out for... Well, you can't really look out for an unlisted video, but that's how I'm going to end up doing it. And for the people who would like to see that kind of stuff, for the whole looting everything. The looting everything and building stuff, I'll just upload it as an unlisted video. So people can still watch those. Seems to be the, uh, the way to do it. Civic access. 
My god. Okay, let's check this out real quick. I'm curious. Hmm, actually. Have that off in case there's raiders here. You never know. Actually pull this bad boy out. And holster it. I think that gives us the cool third person view that I'd like. Yeah, it does. Aw, oh, yeah. Oh, as you can see, I also started the key bindings. So by default, I have my auto run off. Shift is that sort of jog. And then alt is the full on sprint. There it goes. Full on sprint, which looks kind of hilarious in third person. And then bash is F. And favorites is C, because favorites I don't really quite use. It's nice for an at a glance type, uh, you know. Oh, I need this. So you could, uh, probably for consoles really, so you could just like, you know, see up and, and there's that. Because you don't have, obviously, the number, whoops, buttons. <clears throat> well, I think we're alone. <laughs> so that's good.